Hey dinosaurs, right now I'm at Jurassic World Midlands and we have a brand new T-Rex to add to our collection and I want you guys to let me know whether I should place the new T-Rex over here or should I place it among the T-Rex here? Okay, so let's go down to the dino basement, dino dungeon to unbox it right now. Okay guys, so I've basically decided to make this video right next to the Jurassic World Midlands shelf because we have just plenty of T-Rex and it's not wise for me to actually bring them all down to the basement dino dungeon. So here we are to make this video right next to the Jurassic World Midlands shelf. And today we will be reviewing a brand new T-Rex from an independent creator by the name of Marco Cravassa, also known as Marco Mix. So I'm super honored, super happy. I'm basically the first or among the first to be reviewing this brand new T-Rex right over here. I basically cut open the box, but here it's T-Rex, which is yet to be opened. So I will be unboxing this right now. I'm super excited, super honored to be reviewing this. Okay, so let's cut this open with our pair of trusty scissors right here. Okay, very excited to be opening this. I'm gonna put a link down below to his um, Instagram and his um, YouTube channel so you guys can actually check it out and see. Um, you know, if you like it, you can actually purchase this from him. This is not a sponsored video, I've actually paid this on my own. But if Marco you know, loves this video and he wants to sponsor us in our next video, he's most welcome to do that, okay Marco? Okay guys, the T-Rex is finally out of its packaging and right now we are looking at probably the best Jurassic Park inspired T-Rex ever produced. Yes, I'm not kidding, take a look at this. So basically Marco created this T-Rex all on his own. He sculpted this, he crafted this, he painted this, he basically created this from scratch. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful looking T-Rex. This has got to be the best looking ever T-Rex um, I've ever seen. Way better than the Thrasher T-Rex, way better than any other T-Rex right behind. We're gonna do a comparison later and we're gonna see who is the winner of the best looking T-Rex and of course, Wow, this is just incredible. I'm just pretty mind blown by this incredible looking uh, rubber Yeah, this is what Marco calls it. He calls it the rubber saw. Let me just place it right on the floor. Okay, let me just balance the legs. And it's standing perfectly. Take a look at how awesome this is. Now, able to actually or move the tail. So there's basically like a metal bar inside. You can actually pose it to a direction that you love. Wow, this is just incredible. I don't even know what to you know where to start. Let's begin with um, the head sculpt. So as you guys can see, this head sculpt is based on the Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. It's very, very nicely detailed. Take a look at all the detailing done on the snout on the head sculpt is just incredible. The eyes are nicely painted. Not too sure whether you, you are able to open the jaw. I don't want to press it too hard because I don't want to damage this beautiful masterpiece. So you can see a lot of skin creases are done, skin folds are done over here. So it looks so incredible. So the entire um, Tyrannosaurus Rex is actually made of rubber. So this is very impressive. So you can actually press the neck and the jaw just open slightly. Yeah, it looks really cool. Take a look at the uh, um, those little bumps over here, the ridges done are just beautiful. So this is basically sculpted by one man, Marco himself. So this is just incredible. Okay, let's move on to the neck. You can see the nice skin texture over here, some nice skin creases. I think there's a little break, but that's fine. You know, we can actually fix this pretty easily. Did I just damage this myself? I don't think so. Okay, so here's the body. The, the bottom of the body is nicely painted as well. You can see different scaling done over here. You can see scales of different sizes, which is so incredible. 
The arms are very long. I mean, this is the, um, the same case as those T-Rex from um, Jurassic Park. So it, it, it looks kind of similar to the Thrasher T-Rex, but this is way better, I feel. Just a very nice paint scheme uh, with a few brown variants, lighter brown at the bottom and a darker shade of brown at the top with some nice straps across the body. So it's very beautifully done. So let's move on to the legs. You can see we have two movable hind legs. Beautiful legs, but like feet claw. You know, very nicely detailed. Superb looking T-Rex. This has got to be the best looking T-Rex ever. Okay, so um, I remember Marco actually asked me whether I want some raw, so I suppose the raw should be coming from the body. Not too sure whether you guys are able to hear the roaring sounds. It's kind of soft. But yes, I can hear some roars right now. Yeah. Super cool looking. Alright, so let's move on to the tail. You can see, you know, the skin folds are nicely done in a kind of a radial format. Round format. There's a bit of glue over here, but that's fine. You can just remove it easily. So beautiful looking. So when it comes to the length, let's take a look at this. It's a pretty long figure. Let's do a comparison with the button fight or um, T-Rex in terms of the size. So it is roughly about the same size as the Bite and Fight um, T-Rex, just slightly slimmer. The length is almost identical, just slightly shorter. Wow, what an incredible looking T-Rex. Okay, it's time for us to actually take a look at our entire T-Rex collection. At the same time, we're gonna do a comparison with all the T-Rex, okay? So, why don't you guys let me know, do you guys think Marco makes Tyrannosaurus Rex is actually better than um, this Thrasher T-Rex from Jurassic Park, JP29 Site B from Jurassic Park um, uh, Lost World? Yeah, do you guys? For me, I'm going with Marco makes. So Marco is leading 1-0. <laughs> okay, so this is better. I love this a lot. This is really incredible looking. Okay, let's compare it with another T-Rex from Jurassic Park. This is the Jurassic Park Young T-Rex. So which is the winner? I think we have a clear winner right over here. It's definitely going to uh, Marco makes once again. I'm gonna place this over here. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys my entire collection of um, Jurassic World and Jurassic Park T-Rex with a beautiful um, Jurassic Park logo right over here with a super colossal T-Rex right at the back. And if you ask me whether Marco makes T-Rex versus the super colossal T-Rex, which one is better, I am going to say it's gonna, it's a close fight, but I'm still picking Marco's Tyrannosaurus Rex, okay? Let's move on to this Green Legacy Collection T-Rex. Um, I love this, you know, you know, this figure of mine, it's actually broken right over here, so, I'll be fixing this. I'm gonna be repainting this to a different color and I'll be, you know, somehow, I'm gonna try to purchase a new one. And um, let's do a comparison with the Bull T-Rex. There is no competition right over here. Take a look at that face as compared to Marco's mixed Tyrannosaurus Rex. There's totally no competition. Marco Mix just basically trounced this T-Rex, all right? It's an easy win for Marco Mix. I think he's like leading like, um, let me count, okay, let me count. One, two, three, four, five. It's, he's leading five nil right now, okay, five zero. Let's take a look at this T-Rex from um, Jurassic Park. This T-Rex is actually one of my uh, very favorite ones, okay. The batteries are still working. I've just replaced it recently and I'm super happy. It's a JP3 T-Rex. This is able to stand really well. I love this a lot, but let's do a comparison. Who is winning? It's a close one, but still Marco wins and Marco is leading 6-0, okay? I mean, you guys are gonna say, Daniel, buyers, you're just gonna let Marco wins every single round. That's not true. I'm a pretty or impartial judge when it comes to comparing dinosaurs, okay? So if later on, I'm gonna put a competition between Omega-9 T-Rex and Marco Mix, I think it's gonna be a super close fight. Okay, next up, 
let's compare this with um, the Hasbro T-Rex. There is totally no competition. Take a look at the neck right over here. It is totally ripped by Marco Mix Tyrannosaurus Rex. Just chomping right down. So Marco is basically leading like 8-0. Okay, I, I know this is kind of um, lame, but you know, this is how, how we run our videos. Okay, next up, we have this um, beautiful hybrid um, from Hasbro. Not exactly beautiful, but this is one unique um, T-Rex. But Marco Mix still chounds it for sure. Next, we're going to take a look at this um, juvenile T-Rex. This is actually a vintage Jurassic Park um, Lost World figure. Site B JP42. Um, yes, this is a very vintage, very nostalgic figure, but if you ask me to save one dinosaur from, you know, my T-Rex collection, I'm gonna choose this. I mean, if there is like a fire and I'm only able to save one T-Rex figure, it has to be this figure right over here, right? What about you guys? Do you guys think this T-Rex from Marco Mix is just incredible, totally mind-blowing? I think so. Okay, next up, we have actually um, a little young T-Rex from the Legacy collection. Of course, there's no competition right over here, but this is one very cute figure from Mattel. So well done to Mattel for that. I'm gonna show you guys another pretty classic figure. This is from JP3, okay? I've replaced the battery, so it is still working fine. Yeah, this is not the best looking sculpt, but you know, it has um, a vintage feel to it, and I love this figure. It's a close fight between these two, but you know, Marco Mix easily wins this as well. Okay, so this is basically my way of showing you my entire collection of my T-Rex. Next up, wow, Epic Roaring T-Rex. Sorry, Marco. This is one of my most favorite um, T-Rex. Take a look at this incredible hit sculpt. It's beautifully done. And um, oh, I'm gonna say it's a draw. Yeah, sorry Marco, I can't let you win this time because you know, this epic roaring T-Rex is just very, very incredible. I love it so much. And I think this is like one of the best looking T-Rex ever created. But, I mean, this is the best looking T-Rex ever created so far from the Jurassic World toy line. I think most people can agree to that. Okay, so this epic roaring T-Rex is First time, it's able to have a draw with our Marco Mix rubber saw. Next up, let's see, let's see. We have the, um, what is this actually? Extreme Chomping T-Rex, different color variation. This is nice, but definitely no match to Marco's rubber saw. Totally no match. Okay, so let's take a look at our T-Rex collection. It's looking very, very big right now. We have this, what is this? Is this the Measure Biters? I, I can't remember the name for this. This is one, okay, this is not the best looking T-Rex, I can assure you. It's very weird, I'm not a huge fan of this figure, but it is starting to become really rare right now. So if you compare it with Marco Mix, there is no competition at all. Okay, Marco wins hands down. I think Marco is like leading like 12, 12, to one or something like that. I mean, if you count the draw as a, as, as a score, yep. Next up, we have some new figures, not exactly new, some smaller figures. These are cop toppers. These are actually um, Universal Studio official products. They're cop toppers, so basically you can place it on top of um, the mocks and the cups from the movie theaters. So, there's no competition, we don't even have to compare it. <laughs> There's totally no competition. All right, the next one will be the Thrash and Throw T-Rex. This is a beautiful T-Rex with lots of playability. Okay, lots of playability. But when it comes to the head sculpt, there is no, no competition at all. If you take a look at the level of detailing done, you know, Marco makes, I love this head sculpt. It's just way better. It's just way, way, way better. Okay, okay, but so you guys are basically asking me, so Dan, you're basically saying that 
Morocco makes T-Rex, it's flawless. I wouldn't say it's flawless, I mean definitely there can be room for improvements. For example, the roars can be much louder, that would be really nice. Of course, um, um, yeah, I mean small improvements here and there can be made as well, but this is, you know, genuinely the best looking T-Rex I have ever seen. It's just incredible. So I'm pretty sure that many of you guys will want a copy of this and you can actually purchase it from his store, okay? Um, it's not going to be cheap as compared to um, the rest of the T-Rex, but you know, somehow this is produced by one single person, so you have to respect his work. Yeah, so you know, even if I were to make this on my own, I wouldn't be willing to sell this off at a low price, like a hundred bucks, no way, man. I mean, I feel even at 500 bucks, like 500 US dollars, it's going to be a steal, because this is handmade by one person. Sculpted, crafted, painted, delivered, everything is done by one single person, and I feel um, this is good value, and it's very limited as well, yeah. It's not like, you know, Marco is producing like, you know, hundreds of them. It's, I think he's like producing less than 50, even, even less than 10, I'm not too sure, but you know, you have to respect his work for that, for sure. And um, yes, the next one is actually a battle damage, extreme chomping T-Rex. I mean, take a look at this scars right over here. They are just toys. I mean, you can't compare them with this. Definitely no way. Oh yes, if there is one improvement which I can suggest, I mean, if Marco is actually going for the Jurassic Park T-Rex, you can actually add in some, some scars. But of course, I think back then, the T-Rex has yet to receive some scars, so I'm not too sure. So if this is based on the Jurassic Park T-Rex, yeah, probably we shouldn't have any scars. If it's based on the Jurassic World T-Rex, it's gonna have plenty of scars from the Indominus Rex, from the Raptors, from, you know, plenty of them. Um, other carnivores, so yep. Um, next up will be this. This is um, the Chomping T Rex. I'm not too sure of the exact name. You know, I'm not a huge fan of um, the Hasbro figures. I mean, if you compare them with the new Mattel figures, this is just um, so there's not, we don't even need to compare them, okay? Basically, this wins hands down from Marco. Alright, we are left with a few couple of figures. This is a very, very old figure. This is actually comes in a playset. Um, this is a T-Rex, very cute looking. We shouldn't compare this because this is just very weird looking when it comes to the face. Okay, we have one more right over here. Okay, another vintage um, T-Rex. The sounds are not working anymore. The face sculpt looks, you know, I wouldn't say terrible, but it looks very funny. Um, and we have two little figures right over here. And the last comparison, I am going to take out my Omega 90 Rex, okay? Okay guys, so this is my Omega 9 repainted T-Rex. So this is my last T-Rex that we are going to take a look at today. So let's do a comparison with uh, Marco's um, T-Rex. To be really honest, I love my Omega 9 T-Rex, but it, you know, when we do a comparison with Marco's um, T-Rex right over here, I think there is no competition. Marco just puts in way more effort than me. He sculpted this from scratch. So it wouldn't be fair if I say my T-Rex is actually better than his. There's no way, absolutely no way. Okay, but I really love mine as well. You, if you take a look at this, it's very nicely done. This is my Omega 9 T-Rex. I'm not a great painter, I'm not a great um, repainter of um, um, you know, all these dinosaur figures, but I enjoy doing them and hopefully I'll be, I'll be able to improve and uh, hopefully someday I'll be able to paint a really nice T-Rex um, that is equivalent to like Marco makes um, quality, okay? But yes, I'm gonna say Marco makes wins hands down for sure. And yeah, what about you guys? I want you guys to let me know whether you guys like the T-Rex that Marco has produced. And if you like it, do support him. Go on to his um, page on his IG to actually, um, on his Instagram to purchase this figure. It's not cheap, but I think if you are a great fan of um, collecting figures, you may consider this, okay? 
So yep. So thanks for watching this. Hope that you guys enjoy this video. So this is basically my collection of um, T-Rex. I'm super happy um, to be adding this T-Rex to my collection. I'll be placing them into my shelf and I'll let you guys know where I've placed it. Okay guys, so this is basically where I'll be placing my new um, Tyrannosaurus Rex from Marco Mix, as you guys can see. Majority of the T-Rex inside this are actually rubber dinosaurs, okay? Yeah, so this will be the new home of this brand new Marco Mix um, Tyrannosaurus Rex. So, yep, that's right. So, thanks for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.